firestorm about concussions. This post about pill bottles on Michael Ower's Instagram account reads all for the brain. It is a controversial topic that not only impacts the NFL, but also parents with children who play football. NBC Charlotte's Alex Shabbat joins us live. And Alex, any response from the Panthers on this post yet? Well, Sarah, we've reached out to the Panthers, but so far haven't heard back. And that post has now been deleted, but it certainly hit a nerve on social media today. The word concussion is never mentioned here, but people on social media buzzing about the controversial topic after this Instagram post by Panthers player Michael Orr, former NFL player Eugene Monroe responding on Twitter by saying, been there, bro. I'm still dealing with issues from my concussion on a daily basis, praying you are led to do the right thing. Right. Or an offensive tackle who inspired the movie Blindside missed all but three games last year because of lingering concussion symptoms, and he was just in the news last month accused of assaulting an Uber driver in Nashville. The latest post adding fuel to an already heated debate about football safety at all levels. Last year, Tiga K Parks and Recreation eliminated tackle football for children ages 5 to 11. Our main focus as a recreation program is just uh, keeping our participants safe. And while there's inherent risk in any sports you do, um, we look to minimize it as much as we can. And new technology is meant to better track head injuries, like this high-tech mouth guard tested at the University of South Carolina. It has sensors that record the impact to an athlete's skull. So anytime one of these athletes takes a hit to the head, we can actually see how hard that athlete is taking a hit and where that impact is occurring. Now another eye-opening moment tied to football. NFL columnist Mike Freeman tweeting this, calling Orr's post scary. So again, no comment yet from the Panthers, but it's a topic that isn't going away anytime soon, that's for sure. Live in Charlotte, Alex Shabad, NBC Charlotte. All right, thanks, Alex, for that report. Breaking late today, a man charged in the death of a two-year-old boy behind bars tonight. 25-year-old Christopher Sims faced a judge today.